talk today about how to create an assembly for your shelf project. Previous to this you have made the back, the top, and the sides of your shelf. Now we need to import them in all in what we would call an assembly or you can call it a complete drawing of your project. So up at the file menu click there and hit import Yours might look slightly different than mine. I'm on a Mac and you most likely will be on a Windows computer. So I'm going to make sure I'm selecting SketchUp files. Uh, if the, nothing comes up here, you're going to have to make sure that the format is under SketchUp files. Now I'm going to click on the back and import this in. Now it comes in in the assembly and then I'm going to zoom in with my little wheelie ball and mine it comes in as a component yours will too but in order to get rid of anything on this component I will just need to double click on it and just to clean up my spot I'm going to get rid of all of these measurements these measurements were put in here for your benefit when we first laid out the object. Now if you recall when we hit the move tool our move tool will help us rotate things. So we, will, we can also orbit this to the side so we can get our compass to show up, our protractor to show up and notice we're right on the 12 o'clock so it'd be 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock nine o'clock if we think of this as a clock face. So it's straight up and down and I would really like to have this in the corner. It makes us find it a lot, lot easier. Now we're gonna bring in our sides. So we've got in the back now we're gonna bring in our side. File, import, and we're gonna bring in the side. Here's the side one. I'm going to import that in and notice this one too has some drawings we have some measurements we have to get rid of so I'm going to go into edit mode which is a, just a, simply a double click and now I can erase every single one of these unwanted items that we have here we also can remove some of the guidelines we can also do a quick guide removal by simply going up to the edit menu and clicking remove guides. For this instance we just e erase them. Now I'm going to do this move tool again and bring this up to the top, bring this over to the side and now if we orbit this around we can see that these are pretty close in the same plane Let's move them down just a little bit. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. So when I orbit this to the angle, these should be relatively even. The reason why we need to do that is it's going to be easier to connect this little point here. Notice how that little dot lit up in the corner. And notice how this one will light up in this corner. Okay, I'm going to click this little dot and then I'm going to click the dot on the on the back. So those two are going to be locked into position. Notice how that they're both even across the top and even across the back. Now we need to duplicate this from here to here. We're going to pick up the move tool and remember what we did in order to duplicate we hold the control key down. So I'm going to hit the control key and then I'm going to click on that spot and then bring it over, just slide it over, notice it's duplicating and I want to stay on that same line and as soon as I hit that spot in the corner here, as soon as that spot lined up and lit up, I click the item one more time. Now if we rotate we can see that the back and the sides are all connected. It looks good. Now we're ready for the top. We 
we're going to go to File, Import, and we look for our top. Our top is right here. We're going to import that in, and notice how it comes in kind of backwards, which is fine because we have the skills in order to rotate this all the way around. Just simply clicking on the Move tool and then waiting for those little X's to come up and the protractor becomes available. Now we're going to get this relatively close using the Move tool and then we'll use that same technique that we did previously to line these up, except we're going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to look for the midpoint. I'm on the edge and I'm going to move it over ever so slightly until it says midpoint. I'm going to click on it then I'm going to bring it straight down and then I'm going to slide it until it says midpoint. If it doesn't say midpoint, then we do have a lineup issue. We look at this, it looks like it's perfectly lined up. Let's look at the front. It looks pretty close. Now let's see what it looks like when we go to our camera view. I'm going to go to camera, standard view, front. We're also going to go to camera, parallel projection. This makes everything nice and straight. Okay, and we are pretty closely um, assembled. The next step is to start in the lower right hand corner with the arrow tool and go in the upper left. And if we let go, notice how everything is selected. Make sure that everything looks blue on each of the components. Then we are going to right click and we're going to group it. At this point, this is a uh, a completed assembly.